Today we are going to see about reporting needs. In the user portal, you can go to the reports tab from the left pane so that you can select or create a new report. You can also add new categories. When you click on the explore data landing page, you get the all types of reports available in your application. These include different reports. You can customize to get cases data and performance metrics. In the explore data landing page, as you can see, you can filter the reports, sort, group the insights to display the insights of interest. You can explore based on which type of data I want to create an insight. You have access to previously create insi created insights in your application. You can also create charts from these insights. So you can create different chart. You can select the chart type, pie chart, bar chart, clustered column chart. You can add the fields here. So x-axis comes under measures column. You, you need to drag these properties into this measures field. And also case status come under the dimensions column. We can add various dimensions. There are single dimensional, multi-dimensional charts. These all are the properties or fields which you can add. So to manage the category, you can go to the user portal, reports tab, actions, manage categories. These all are the different categories. Analyze performance, analyze quality, case metrics, monitor assignments, monitor process. These are all the, these all are the default categories which you can edit. You can also add your own case level categories. You can also create a new category and select and group it under public or private. You can also add a new report by clicking on new report. So this is the say I want to create a report on assistance request or uh, whenever you want to create a dashboard widget or whenever you want to create a chart or drill down report, then you have to select summary or chart else you can select list type. If you are don't, if you don't want to create any chart out of it. So here, these all are the properties. So best bits are the most applicable ones depending on the class layer. All matches include all the properties in your application layer, starting from your work pool till the base class. Calculations is you can add some inbuilt SQL functions. So basically, these functions are used whenever you want to manipulate the data that is retrieved from the database. Say for example, if I want to add label, then I, I can simply drag and drop that property to here. If I want, if I want to drop column to add, add it as a filter. As you can see here, any label has come. But if I don't want to have that label, I can remove that again. I can also add label to the bottom group headings. So he, here you can't drop. So into is coming here also. You can't drop, can't drop, can't drop. See here you can drop. That's why tick is coming. So label. So you can group based on label as well by dra dragging here. So you can click on this hyperlink. If you don't want this condition, you can remove it. If you want to change this condition instead of last seven days, say if you want last 30 days, you click on this hyperlink, go to select value. Select last 30 days, submit. You can in the filter also to reflect the same apply changes. So now create the filter is changed to in the last 30 days. You can also add a chart. Say I want to add a chart in this fashion. So I can select a clustered chart. So I can select add my x axis and y axis properties. This is the aggregate column on which the aggregation has to be performed. That is say sum or count. And th this is the third dimension that we are getting. Any other column we can keep here. So now I'm going to show a report which is already configured. So 
once you make all those changes you can select done editing to save your changes as you can see here list of continuous models is a list type and hence it doesn't have any chart whereas list, uh, number of, number in status of request is a chart type so you, as you can see you can see the chart symbol here you can move it remove it delete it copy it these are the various actions you can perform on each tile so when you open as you can see here this is the x axis which is a status y axis is the total property and the z axis also we have added so you can click on edit report if you want to change these filter conditions or anything so you can see, select edit chart to see what properties we have added on x axis we have created, uh, added entered on in the z axis actually we have entered status on the y axis we have entered total say if you want to add label on the y axis you, you simply need to drag and drop it so you can press this into icon to remove this total say now i want to drag this total again back here so he, into means you can't drop into you can't drop see tick mark is there you can drop it so now total has come here so if you don't have enough case data you can also select the simulated data option to get a good graph so see as it has loaded or if you have that data created in your application you can select add actual data so these are the benefits this is called as basically the report browser so there are total 46 reports in this application these all are list reports these are summary reports this is a donor type chart we are not having data currently you can go to edit report and click on simulated data so you got the chart if you select actual data you will not get any chart because the system is not having any data thank you